Go. <laughs> There is a very important relationship between force, mass and acceleration. It's called Newton's second law. And in this experiment we're going to have a look at that. What we have here is a runway and on top of here we've got a wireless cart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that back. It's on a string connected to a pulley and over at the other end we have just a weight containing 10 grams. Now previously what we've done is we've balanced this so that if we've just got 10 grams on here then nothing happens. This is balanced for gravity and friction. So if I stop this anywhere it will stop and that mass of 10 grams will hold the trolley constant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 10 gram mass on here. This is going to have a force of 0.1 newtons and we're going to put that on there over the pulley and then what we're going to do is hold on to the trolley and release it. As we do that what we're going to do is we're going to record the acceleration of the cart. So let's have a go. Three, two, one, go. We'll have a look at this with the system recording what's going on here and then what we're going to do is we're going to add masses 10 grams at a time and see what happens. I have the experiment set up the same way as we had before except now I've linked this cart to some software and we can record its velocity and its acceleration and for good measure I'm going to record the distance as well. So we're going to wind the cart back so the mass is right at the top. I'm going to start the recording. Three, two, one, go. And we can see on the graph the distance, the velocity and the acceleration. Well the acceleration we can't quite see Perhaps we need to make that one a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. You want to go down? I want to go down. Yeah. What we can see is the acceleration, it accelerated and then stayed constant. So we had a constant acceleration. The velocity shows a straight line, so we have been steadily increasing our velocity and the distance shows it's a curve as we've gradually got faster and faster as we've moved away from the start. Let's repeat this experiment, but what we want to do this time is to increase the masses. On this string then I'm going to place 20 grams and I will connect this up to the trolley. What we would expect now is we've got a greater force pulling the tr on the trolley. So with the formula F equals MA the mass of this cart is remaining constant. We've increased the force, so we expect the acceleration to increase. Let's see if that happens. Three, 
three, two, one, go. If we compare run one and run two, we can see for the acceleration, the line is higher than the first line. In the velocity, the graph is steeper in the second one and this curve in the distance is greater. Let's do the same again, but this time we go increase the mass to 30 grams. So we've now got a force of 30 grams on the trolley. Let's get ready to release. Three, two, one, go. And what we should see now is this is steeper than the last run for velocity and this line here for our acceleration is gradually getting higher and higher. Repeat it one more time. We've now got 40 grams on the trolley. Three, two, one, go. And if we compare this run with the previous run and the previous run, we can see the lines for velocity are gradually getting steeper. First one, second, third, fourth. And the acceleration is getting higher and higher as we go along. Our first, second and third, first, second, third and fourth. Each one getting gradually higher and higher. And the beauty of this software we can actually work out what that acceleration was. Okay.